Good morning, Mike. Thank you for seeing me at the show here today. Sure. And what I'd like to talk with you about is this middle of the market thing. There's been so much interest in the 757 category of, of airplane before the show, during the show, and no doubt tomorrow and the rest of the week after the show. There's lots of talk about this. Is this warranted? I think it's warranted because what I see is a is a interest in a market space that's um, probably a little bit bigger than the 57. And I, I want to talk about that for just a second. Um, people talk about a 757 replacement. What's interesting to me is that in in um, many ways the 57 has already been replaced. When I look at the, the routes that the 57 flies today. Um, not all of the routes that the airplane flies make use of its range capability. And may, maybe only 15% of the routes really make use of the range in the, of the 757. Most of the other routes that the airplane flies on, those routes can be, can be met with a 737 or with, a, with an A320. And so it isn't, it isn't really clear that the market is looking for really a 57 replacement because I think it's largely been replaced. And that's really led us to go talk to our customers and try to understand what they really are interested in. And what it appears as if they're interested in something that's really bigger than a 757 and goes a little bit farther than a 757. So, you know, think 20% bigger and 20% farther. And that really gets you into the heart of this middle of the market space, which exists between a 37 and a 787. So what do you think is the, if taking the most optimistic view, at Boeing, what do you think is the size of this for this mid-market airplane? Uh, the the types of interest we've seen would lead us to believe there's interest in on the order of thousands of airplanes, and it's and it isn't just a range play. It's it's a range play. It's a flexibility play, and it's really a, a stimulating new markets growth growth play. Right. It, when one looks at that segment, <coughs> pardon your competitor. It's pushing up with the 321 and pushing down on the top of that segment with the 330. And you still see thousands of airplanes. How do, how, how do you fit into that and how much time do you need to have something ready for in that market? Well, that's a, that's a really good question. Um, so when I think about the airplanes that um, people say compete with the 57 today, I see airplanes that can that have the capacity to carry maybe 200 people or more, um, or they've got the ability to go ranges that are almost what the 757 can fly, but not quite. But they certainly can't do both of those things at the same time. And so while there are single aisle airplanes that are pushing into this market space, they're pushing into the lower left corner of it, and they're really not robust um, answers to what the customers are looking for. And then I think about the bigger airplanes as well. And they can serve these ranges and they can serve these capacities, but they're optimized for ranges that are much farther. And as a result, they've got more wing, more weight, more thrust, more engine than you really need to optimize in this market space. And so they're not as efficient as an airplane could be if you optimize it for this market space. And that's really what has our customers interested. One last sort of tweak in here. If you come up with something new, given the fact that your competitor has something in the market, whether it's optimized or not, as you say. How quickly does one have to ramp up and what does it mean for Boeing to, to be able to come up with something new to eclipse anything that's there right now and ramp up fast enough for, for customers to buy them? Yeah, that's a, that's a great multi-part question. I might ask you to come back and, and remind me of what some of those parts were. Um, you know, the, um, there are airplanes that um, are pushing into the, the mid-market segment. And and you said, if we do something there, and that's a really good point because we haven't made any decisions. We're just evaluating. We're, we're exploring with our customers what the opportunities might be. And there has to be both the presence of a market and the ability to, to really design and build an airplane for a cost that can address that segment of the market. And it, all those things need to make sense before you can make a move like that. And we're still evaluating those things right now. We just recognize that there's significant interest. Um, so, but, but having said that, our competitor certainly is, has an airplane that they're trying to address parts of that market with. We've got airplanes that can address parts of that market as well. The 737 MAX 9 airplane has significant range capability. We can add an aux, a single auxiliary fuel tank and give it even more range capability. And that airplane can address parts of that, that segment of the market. 
We're also looking at ways to extend the range of the Max 8 to address that, to address the range play in that market as well. And so, you know, for some of their airplanes, they've got a few more seats, but our airplanes have more range. And so really it's, it's what, what are the specific things you're trying to address when you go after that segment of the market. Trying to figure out where the sweet spot is. Yeah, and, and in the single aisle market, we absolutely see that the sweet spot is in the 165 seat range where the heart of the market is. And, and we believe the Max 8 is really a great airplane to address the heart of the market. And if we look at just uh, the market's choice since the 737 uh, Max has been offered, um, the 737 Max 8 has outsold the A320 Neo by a significant margin. And and we have maybe, we, our families have had parity. We've sold about as many Maxes as they've sold Neos in, since the airplane was offered. Um, but certainly in the heart of the market, we're doing better. So we think we've got a great airplane optimized for that heart of the market. That gives us the flexibility to then go look at a different market segment and ask questions about what we might want to do to address that as well. Thank you so much. You bet.